So hello everyone. Today is, again, going to be a short stream. I am still trying to get ready for the new job. Um, I haven't gotten the frame for the green screen set up yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because the green screen hasn't arrived yet. I am planning to put that together, the green screen frame tonight. Uh, I think I figured out a way to do it without uh, hitting the lamp that's in the room, hopefully. I did manage to get the door between the twins' room and the upstairs hallway uh, set up so that it can be used as a buy-through so people don't have to walk right behind me, but it's, uh, it's one of a multi-pronged solution, shall we say. Um, but it does work. I had to remove the old latch, which was very old. It was a solid block latch. Uh, you don't see those anymore. Those are only in really old or restored houses. Uh, but I've got a rope set up that is going to act as a doorknob. Sorry. I got a haircut and I haven't had a chance to shower and get it all of the itchy little cut hairs off yet. Um, okay. I was going to work on crochet tonight. Not going to be able to. I have to do an emergency patch on my son's jacket because he managed to catch the <clears throat> catch one of the arms on a nail and tear it. So that's what we're working on tonight, getting that done. Like I said, it's going to be a short stream, probably very short, because once I finish this patch, I'm going to be ending the stream because I've got so much other stuff to do. Okay. So, I always try to start patches from underneath the patch itself, um, because I want to make absolutely certain that I'm going through the material of the patch and not just through the jacket sleeve itself. I'm just using basic uh, Coates brand transparent nylon thread. Nothing fancy for it. The patch is from a Overwatch uh, patch pack that I got. Um, I just kind of collect random patches and this is one of the ones that I got in the pack. Um, so this is not a hey you should support Blizzard because I know that they've done some really shady things recently um, or at least they've been doing some really shady things that have been coming to light recently, shall we say, and I understand perfectly why a lot of people are not supporting Blizzard. This patch was purchased prior to finding out, just like I have some Harry Potter themed patches. Um, thankfully only one of which had ended up on my jacket already, but I was not, at the time of purchase, aware of what a horrible transmisogynistic transphobic bigot J.K. Rowling was. So, sometimes you end up buying things and finding out after the fact that, oh, maybe I shouldn't have bought that. You can't really decide on it, though. Um, you can't know the future. You can't know what this person or this company or this... Uh, you can't know what they're going to do in advance. I mean, we're not we're not mind readers. We're not psychics who can predict the future. So sometimes you buy something from an IP, be it a author who turns out to be awful, uh, be it a company who turns out to be awful, or to be mistreating their employees, etc., etc. Um. Since we can't know these things in advance, you know, we, we kind of have to accept that sometimes we're going to 
back the wrong horse, as it were. Um, and that's not a, a moral failing on our part or anything like that. But once we know better, you know, we have the option. And sometimes we don't have the option. Keep that in mind, too. Especially when it comes to uh, certain companies. Some people live in places where you can't avoid buying from Amazon because there's no way to get things shipped in from small businesses. Uh, sometimes you have to buy Microsoft products. Not an option otherwise sometimes. Or Apple products. Or you have to shop at Walmart. It's not a moral failing. There is no ethical consumption under capitalism. Um, which is why we're trying so hard to get away from capitalism, if at all possible. But for the moment, you can't really escape capitalism. You can just make the best choices possible with what information and resources you currently have, and you can't beat yourself up for not having access to other resources or not being able to purchase from a more ethical company sometimes. Sometimes it's just not an option. Um, I know one person who does not shop from Amazon at all. They just don't. But that's because they live in a place where they can get pretty much anything they need without having to go through Amazon. Sometimes you can do that. Great. If you've got local businesses that you can support instead, that is perfect. I would much rather see the money go to the local economy than to this uh, massive, giant economy that is mistreating its workers so badly. You know. But again, if you can't, for some reason, there's no reason to beat yourself up. It's It's a balancing act, and it's one that I wish none of us had to do. I had to just order some more stuff off Amazon, because... When my new computer from work got sent to me, it did not have... a long enough power cord. And all of the stores locally don't have power cords for PCs anymore. Or at least the ones that would be open on a weekend and, you know, that I could get to before my new job starts. But because the local stores don't ha that are open on the weekend don't have it, the local stores that aren't open on the weekend, well, they're kind of not open, and I start work 9 a.m. Monday morning. So, I'm using a very jury-rigged setup right now. It's frankly dangerous because I'm having to plug an extension cord into a power strip. Um, but for right now, I gotta have a computer for work. And they didn't send me the parts that I needed for the PC. Who sends a four-foot power cord? Gotta, gotta ask that. Who sends a four-foot power cord for a PC? They send a seven-foot, seven, foot, seven uh, Ethernet cord. Which, no. I had to go out and buy one of those. Thankfully, Cat6 cords are available in most stores that handle computer parts. But the actual power cord, uh, the actual power cords are not, so. Alright. And today's been a busy day. This past couple days have been busy. Uh, my roommate is back from uh, his mother's because they figure 10 days since, you know, Fox showed symptoms last. That's good enough. It's twice the CDC recommended, so 
it should be fine. I do have a runny nose, but I can assure you that is not from COVID or anything. It's because my roommate, his room was uh, closed up the whole time that he was gone and smells bad now, so he lit incense and my nose responds to incense with, well, we're gonna run now. Um, has for a very long time, so it's nothing new, nothing unexpected, but just happened to be that he lit up the incense right when I'm about to start stream, so. Which, you know, say lovey. His room smelled bad, he wants to do something about it, I can understand that. Uh, if it weren't for the fact that, you know, the, the twins won't be in their room for the next, you know, during school days, I'd be very tempted to put on a candle or something in their room because teenage boys and um, people are going to have to be walking through their room as a thoroughfare of sorts so I hope he doesn't mind the fact that this is going on crooked but I need it crooked so it covers the actual hole because of course nobody ever gets a hole that is nice and neat and tidy yeah, I am not probably not going to be able to finish the plushie that I had intended to finish uh, by the end of this month, just because starting new job, all of the things, the quarantine, um, I just haven't had the time. And today, you know, I'd planned to do my crafting stream a lot earlier today, um, but I get home and I find out, okay, yeah, I've still got to finish that door. I've got to get the cube computer set up, which thankfully it is. I just can't log in yet because the uh, they never sent me my login IDs, so waiting on those to arrive. Supposedly, they're arriving in two separate emails, hopefully uh, before I am supposed to log in and get started at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Um... Hold on. I never recommend that you use your uh, needle to, or your teeth to help pull a needle through, but I do it all the time. So, oh look, munchkins are being noisy. Okay. So, um, but the computer is set up with the janky jury rigged my cable management on this looks absolutely horrific um but it works and that's what's important for right now once the power cord that is long enough comes in as well as two more power cords that i'm going to have to order because the apparently the uh power cords that with the mo with the monitors were also too short um so I'm going to have to replace their power cords as well. But that should be doable. Um, just have to get those ordered. They should be the exact same. This, by the way, is thread snips. They are specifically for cutting thread. Very, very useful. And I can keep those handy by my desk, whichever desk I might be at, um, so that I can use them and then keep my sewing scissors tucked away where nobody's going to steal them, because my family are very bad about realizing that sewing scissors should be used for sewing only, or yarn, or embroidery, etc., etc. They should not be used to cut paper, to cut plastic, to cut open packaging. Um, I have had to replace my sewing scissors many, many times because of this <sighs> lack of understanding. We'll go with that. I would much rather think that it's a lack of understanding than a
refusal to uh, respect my belongings. I mean, I'm pretty sure that it's a lack of respect for me and not and my belongings, as opposed to lack of understanding, possibly. But we'll go with lack of understanding because that doesn't give me as high a blood pressure. I was kind of snappish with my family earlier today because I come home, I'm like, okay, I've got to get this computer set up, I've got to get X, Y, and Z done, I've got to replace the doorknob, and uh, somebody goes, oh, by the way, you also need to do X and Y. And I'm sitting here going, okay, sure. But I have other things that need done first. In good news, I did have a bit of a rant about this, and especially about the fact that the downstairs, which is a huge mess, I mean, all the downstairs consists of is the laundry room, uh, the master bedroom, and the one of two bathrooms in the house. That's it. Every, or in the master closet, too, which, I mean, the master closet and the door to the garage. Anyhow, um, because my partner works in our bedroom, it means that five days a week, I have to sleep on the couch, which is upstairs. I don't really use the downstairs because, aside from two days a week, I can't sleep down there. While my partner's doing stuff for work, I have to be up here anyway, and when my partner finishes work, he or the twins tend to get on the TV in the master bedroom and watch stuff there. So again, I can't use the master bedroom except for those two days a week when my partner is not working or on uh, or on a call for gaming, etc. His d, &D group that he meets with on Zoom. Um, by the way, speaking of, my partner did just get an award from the uh, Savage Worlds Adventures Guild. He was one of the top grossing, uh, or top sales for a Technomancer module he had released for the Sprawl Runners setting. Very proud of him. I got to watch the award ceremony. Um, so that was very cool. Uh, but, yeah, I, I don't use the downstairs except for the bathroom and the laundry room, pretty much. And so, as I was trying to get the boys' room situated so that it could, so that we could use that door, one of the boys didn't like that I moved an item that was in front of the door into a different part of the room. And he's like, well, this can go downstairs, and I'm like... Where? Where is their room? And he's like, well, can we make room? And I'm like, sure. But I don't have time to clean down there. I do shouldn't be having to clean down there because I never use that room. And it apparently reminded him of just how much stuff I do around the house. And kind of twigged to them that maybe maybe somebody else should be doing some of this stuff. Or at least doing things like cleaning the one room that I don't use, so why should I be the one cleaning it? So, he and his brother did a bit of cleaning down there, which encouraged my partner to also do a bit of cleaning down there. Is it actually clean? No. No. Not clean by far. But, it's a little bit of room opened up. But my partner also uh, told me that, hey, while you were out, um, the cat managed to claw at this particular door jam, 
and the wood from the door jam came loose, fell, nearly hit her, which would have injured her badly, and also hit a plate that was in the drying rack. And basically, um, so now I need to go and nail that piece of door jam back into place after it broke the plate and nearly broke the cat. So that's another thing that needs to be done tonight, along with everything else. Because, again, still got to get that frame up. Um, still got to... I've still got to make the frittatas that I'm going to be eating for breakfast for the week. Um, I have been doing... A, I, I did some experimental cooking uh, yesterday, and it turned out pretty well, I think. I made... I, I found while cleaning around where my desk is um, a bunch of packages of dried instant mashed potatoes. Now, these were from back before I started... Uh, back before I moved to working from home in 2019, the end of 2019, because they were what I had at my desk at work there because I would have one of those for lunch or, you know, uh, during the work day because, or if I ended up staying late, which happened a lot, I would have something there that I could eat. Well, great, except now I have these pouches at home and, you know, I, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to waste them, but I also don't want to eat an entire bag of uh, instant mashed potatoes. You know, it was one thing after I worked before I worked so hard to lose a ton of weight, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But now, you know, kind of no. Um, so I looked around, found some recipes, and what I did was I made potato pancakes. Um, I fixed the, uh, I fixed the, also, just showing you guys what I'm doing, uh, there's the needle right there, it won't go through the patch on its own, so what I'm doing is I am using the thread snip's edge, or handle, to push that needle through the rest of the way, it is very, uh, well, it's not the recommended way to do things, but I don't feel like going and finding my thimble. Which is somewhere. <sighs> thimble is either in the sewing kit or in the, the little box that holds all my patches in. Um, but I'm trying to get this patch sewn on so that my kit will have a jacket that doesn't have a big hole in the sleeve tomorrow when he goes to school. Um, and then I've just got so much stuff that needs doing tonight. But yeah, um, the potato pancakes, it was basically fixed up the mashed potatoes with the instructions from the bag, so two cups of hot water. Let those cool to room temperature. Then added two eggs, um, two eggs, about a half cup to a third cup of grated or uh, of, of shredded cheese. I added some pre shredded super blend, which is made up of kale, spinach, Brussels sprouts, and broccoli, and carrots. Um, added about a cup of that, and then about a half cup of panko bread breadcrumbs. Um, because the mashed potatoes were the pre-flavored kind, uh, they were the loaded baked potato. Uh, but because they were pre-flavored, I didn't have to add any salt or spices or anything. Um, I mixed that all up, made it into five patties, which, given that the potatoes themselves were four servings per, uh, I feel that five was pretty good, especially with the added ingredients. 
um, made that up into five patties, lightly pan fried. I did not add oil to the pan. I just used some uh, olive oil cooking spray to try and cut down on additional calories as much as possible. Um, I'm going to eventually try to find a recipe that lets me oven bake instead. Um, but for the moment, they turned out really good, and once I had uh, tried the one that I ate last night, I then wrapped them up in uh, paper towels and tucked them in a bag once they had cooled completely, because of course you don't want to put something that is still hot in the freezer. Uh, but I froze them that way, and then today for my dinner, I got out one of those and one of the uh, pork chops that I also had. I wrapped them both in a paper towel, and I actually got them out the night, or just when I was going to bed, because that way they had all night to thaw, um, and as they thawed, they dampened that paper towel so that when I was ready to eat, I could just leave them wrapped in that damp paper towel. Uh, the, the pork chops, by the way, are oven-baked. I cooked them earlier in the day as well, uh, yesterday. But I could put them on a plate with the paper towel that was damp still wrapped around them, and then microwave that, and the damp paper towel made certain that they retained moisture. Ow, that hurt. hope that doesn't start bleeding. Um but retained moisture so that hopefully, and yeah, they, they did stay fairly moist, fairly tasty. Um, sadly, I only got a few bites before something happened that I had to walk away from them and leave them just sitting out for an hour on the arm of the couch. Um, so by the time I got back, they were cold and had dried out again. But hey, it's a quick and easy solutions for work lunches, that means I don't have to worry about, okay, what am I going to eat today? Um, now I just need to get the frittatas made so I have breakfast. They will also be getting some of the uh, same cheese and the superfood blend of shredded up veggies. I think I'm also going to add some frozen spinach to them because I like spinach. Um, and it is good to get as many veggies as possible in myself, because veggies are good for you. What on earth is going on here? There is a knot. How did I end up with a knot? It's such a short thread. Seriously, how did I end up with a knot? I'm trying to undo the knot. Oh, there's still a knot, but it's not as bad as it was. Okay. Okay. In good news, the patch is about three quarters ish on. So soon. Hopefully. Because <laughs> again, I've just got stuff that's got to get done tonight. Um, I have started, I don't know if I've mentioned this on streams earlier this week, but I've started a project that I'm calling Thing A Day. It is a short story each day uh, using writing prompts that I've been saving for some time. Um, I'm hoping to get One written. Per day. Uh, I seem to do my best writing from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. However, that's not going to be an option while I am doing the training for work because, again, I have to go to bed at like 1 a.m. to get up by 8.30 or 9.00. Um, 
to start work. So it's it's very much a can I do this at like last night I ended up writing the story at 10 p.m. which seemed to work wasn't I mean it's a good story don't get me wrong uh, those are up on archive of our own I think under the username Mason Eugene uh, which is what I use in most places maybe at some point um, once I've gotten all of the other crafting projects that are sitting around not being worked on uh, maybe once I've gotten one of those or some of that done I can actually like do a stream where I just you know read a few of those out loud um, kind of an ambiance I guess would be the term you know something of that nature but we'll just have to see what I can and can't do very hard not to stab myself while doing this, but, you know, if it happens, it happens. There is... I have several friends who are uh, seamstress or embroiders, you know, they do things like that, and they're like, well, you know, you have to, you have to break in your fabric by bleeding on it. I'm sitting there going, I don't like bleeding, if I can help it. You know, I'd prefer not to. Um, but I also understand having done needle crafts for some time, yeah, you're, you're going to bleed at some point. It's just a thing that happens. Um, okay, come on. All right. So, uh, let's see, other tasks for tonight. Making up the frittatas. Um, I've got some black olives. I've got canned mushrooms because I keep them them on hand at every point. I don't want to use the fresh ones because my partner is very, very, uh, he loves fresh mushrooms. He adds them raw to his salads and I cannot stand them raw. Love them cooked, can't stand them raw. So it just for me makes it easier to ensure that I always have fresh mushroom or always have mushrooms I can use in things to just keep several cans of pre-sliced, pre-cooked mushrooms handy. And then as I'm making stuff, I just toss in, you know, one can of mushrooms. Works great for soups. Works great for casseroles. Oh, crap. Did I just cut that? No, good. Whew. Thought I did. Okay. Um... But, you know, you don't need, if it's, if it's not something you need a ton of mushrooms for, or they don't have to be super fresh, you know, canned works just fine. Um, I know a lot of people make fun of Ina Garten and her, if you can't pick up, and it's some ungodly expensive, hard to find ingredient, you know. Uh, but people make fun of the, if you can't find blah, or you can't make, you know, uh, then store-bought is fine. But the thing is, she's right. You know, just because you can't home-make sheep's milk cheese, because you don't have room for sheep, and you don't have time to milk them, and you don't have time to make cheese out of that milk. Nothing wrong with buying some store chevera. Actually, I think Chevrolet is a goat cheese, but still. You get my point, I'm sure. There is nothing wrong with buying store-bought ingredients for something you're cooking from home. Um, yeah, some things are super easy to cook or to make at home. Not everything is. And you shouldn't be upset if you do have to buy store-bought, you know. There's nothing wrong with it. Sorry, trying to force this through. These patches are in. They were originally meant to.
to be uh, to be applied with an iron. You know, you just put it on an iron. But I have always found that that does not work as well for actually uh, attaching them. They are prone to an edge peeling back, and the next thing you know, the whole thing comes unraveled. But if you sew them on, which is what I do, then they're there until uh, you are ready to toss the clothes, in which case you just cut the threads and, oh, look, you got your patch back. Um, I always prefer to sew things on as opposed to ironing them on. Uh, the only difference was when I did iron on transfers. Uh, and I've got a bunch of those that I didn't actually buy. They were through the Bobcat in a Box uh, shopping robot. I've got a ton of those. Most of them are not the styles of things that I would wear personally. However, they are very cute, and they're the styles of things that would be perfect for, say, a gift for a baby. So, um, I have those as kind of a stockpile for, you know, if a friend of mine is having a baby, or if uh, a family member is, things like that. And I can always just, uh, pull out my really poor quality iron. I've been tempted more often, more than once, to just uh, heat up the cast iron, a uh, cast iron pan on the stove, and use that to <laughs> just put parchment paper over the item and uh, set the pan down direct on the parchment paper, you know. Um, it, it's doable. People have done it plenty of times, so I know it works. I just haven't bothered because, I mean... I've got an iron that technically works. It's not a good iron, it's not a quality, and it doesn't get hot enough. Um, you see crafts sometimes where they do things like they take uh, cut up bits of the uh, hot glue sticks that have uh, sparkle glitter in them, and they um, they use a iron over parchment paper to heat those and then use those to make a design on a shirt. I got the sparkle glue sticks, I was going to try that, and I discovered that my iron that I have does not get hot enough to melt sparkle glue sticks, which should tell you quite a bit about the quality of the iron. Um, hot enough to burn you though, as I have discovered more than once. Uh, okay. Ouch. Oof, right through the seam. Alright. Okay, come on. So it looks like we're going to have about a 45 minute stream, because I am on the last bit of sewing this patch on. Um, again, really wanted to work on the plushie for my friend but it's just not happening tonight. There's too many other things that have got to be done, and I I can't right now. Like, I really want to. But there's so much that has to be done. I'm hoping that my trainer will understand when I say, hey, I learn better if I've got my hands occupied um, so I'm going to be crocheting. I promise I will be paying attention. You will know that I am paying attention because I will be engaged with asking questions, answering questions, etc., etc. Because I, I will be. You know, I don't... When, when I'm in a classroom, I'm, I'm going to be engaged. Let's put it that way. I'm going to ask questions. I'm going to answer questions my classmates and a few teachers I had in school used to hate me for it. Um, I was not the kid who would remind the teacher, oh, you forgot to assign homework. No, I, I was not that kid, at least. Thank goodness, because my classmates already disliked me enough. But uh, I was definitely the kid who, if the teacher said... Um, 
doesn't uh, asked a question or was like, okay, so who knows the answer to this? Uh, I, my hand would shoot up immediately, because I always did, because I'm a nerd. <laughs> I mean, what more can you say, you know? And I'm not one of those people who thinks that nerd is an insult or anything bad. I jokingly call myself a nerd. I call friends of mine that are very passionate about certain things nerds. And it is all meant with love and respect. Okay, I am... Two, three... Just now binding off this... bit of thread, and then I'll hold it up, show you guys where it is sewn on, so you guys can see what it looks like in place. I'm using my standard uh, wrap the, the thread around the needle three times, and that's my bind off, because um, it makes a fairly small little knot when you do that. But it is a sturdy little knot. Okay. All right, there we go. Thread snips are now getting used for their actual purpose. There we go. All right. And... Come on. There's my leftover, and of course, because I'm one of those people, the needle just gets stabbed into the top of my thread. And that's how it gets kept. <coughs> oh, that wasn't fun. Okay, so let's show off. There we go. It's uh, crooked because the patch had to go on at an angle to cover the actual tear, but it is a patch. It will work. It will keep his shoulder warm, and he has some new visual interest to his jacket. All right, so, wrong way. Sorry, I got a haircut today, but yeah. Anyhow, I do want to thank everyone who made it out for the stream. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed hearing me ramble about the stuff that uh, I've been doing today and this coming week, and I hope to see everyone on Thursday. It will be probably Thursday evening, probably around the same time I started this stream. Uh, it seems to work fairly well if I basically get started at about 8 o'clock, which is when my do kids do their chores, so that I can then end by 10 p.m., uh, which is when the kids need to go to bed, and therefore I need to remind them it's bedtime. That said, I hope everyone stays safe. Be kind to yourself, be kind to each other, and I'll see you Thursday. Bye.